what would you say is like the hardest aspect of, you know, launching that or the beach soccer? Like what, you know, what were you not expecting that uh, was like a big eye opener for you? I mean, you know, one of my favorite expressions is it's, it's, it's not the, about the money. It's about the money. <laughs> because it's always there. It's always an element of this. And for the good of the game, for the love yeah. of the sport, all of that is there. And right. it's true. And without that love of the game or love of creating something new, without that passion, you're dead. If you're yeah. in it only for the money, you've got a problem. If you're in it only for the good of the game and the sport, you're also going to have a money problem at some point. Right. Yeah. So um, navigating those two, the hardest part has really been navigating those two making decisions that are good for the sport, but also good for the business. And sometimes they clash with each other. Uh, and sometimes they're in perfect alignment, trying to find that alignment of kind of art and commerce, so to speak, where the business from a financial standpoint and the business from a artistic or sport standpoint are sympathetic with each other. That's really the hardest part is finding when those two come together. Um, and there's a lot of pieces to the puzzle too, that you have to put together in order to become successful or at least just sustainable. Um, and probably the hardest part is finding the marriage between art and commerce, the marriage between the sport and the business side and making sure they match up with each other. And if they're not there, you have to revamp your plan. Um, that's one of, and, and lots of times, you know, it comes down to the partners that you bring in. Sometimes you bring in a financial partner who has no operational or sport experience. Sometimes you can bring in a sport partner who's got no uh, money to really help you out. And that's me. That's me. Yeah. And, and those are difficult, right? Yeah. Because if you really need both. And you, yeah. you do need that combination. You need the 100%. combination. So that's the hardest part is finding the correct combination of those two. Yeah. That's what I struggled with when I was a, a league administrator in indoor football and uh, some other sports. It's like, yeah, how do you, how do you find that, that mix? Because typically the, the money people aren't in the sports operation side of things right. and, and don't know how to operate that type of business. So it, it was always a struggle I had. Yeah, but uh, like, like, like any sport, Andrew, or any business really, you know, it takes four things to be successful. You got to be smart. You got to be hardworking. You got to have people skills and you got to care. I mean, that, those are the attributes that the people have to have. And if you have money, you can get to where you're going a lot faster. That's really the, the, the key to it all is being smart, being hardworking, having people skills and really caring, having passion for what you do. And like I said, if you have money, you can get there faster. You can get there slowly um, without the money, um, but you might run out of even the small amount of money you have, or it might take so long that you just can't, it's just not sustainable. Yeah. Um, so money isn't to be overlooked, but also not underlooked.